Welcome guys, it's Gio here and in this video I'll be talking about the book called Elixir in Action. Uh, this is a book about the programming language Elixir and as author claims no prior knowledge of Elixir is necessary to follow this book. Only some intermediate skills with other languages such as C Sharp, Java or Ruby. So does this mean it's a good book to get started with Elixir? Well, we're gonna find it out. So, uh, first I'm gonna uh, divide this book into three sections, talk about them briefly, and in the end I'll summarize my experiences and uh, share you my thoughts, if it's worth it to read it or not. The first section of the book is about um, the basic building blocks of the language, uh, you know, different how to create variables, um, different data structures, the lists, it's a functional language and uh, here you're gonna deal with lists instead of traditional arrays, how to iterate over the lists, um, how to use for that recursion or utility function that comes with the library, you know, piping different functions to uh, compose new functions, all of that. Also the pattern matching, you know, it's, which is uh, the one of the core features of the language itself. And uh, yeah, this is like this kind of builds the foundation for the next chapters that come after, after this um, initial introduction. And I would say it's, it's, it's really easy to read, easy to follow. Uh, probably you're going to make a lot of parallels with your uh, primary language. Even though the book is not about the functional programming, the language itself is a functional. So you're going to have to deal with functional programming concepts. Here and there. So the next uh, big section of the book, I would say, is the best section, uh, and that's where you're gonna get your money's worth because it's about um, core core characteristic of the language itself, and it is concurrency. And Elixir is about building concurrent applications. Uh, and here again, author you know starts from you know from the scratch, talks about basic concurrency primitives such as processes, they are not OS processes, but the language specific processes that are lightweight and you can almost spin up them um, as much as you want. So it's about processes and how to communicate with different processes, uh, look for errors and recover from them, all of that. Uh, besides Elixir comes with uh, you know, tons of tools to work with uh, these basic primitives of concurrency, the processes. And uh, it's, it's a really great, you know, big section of the book. And you're going to learn a lot about the concurrency. Uh, I'm sure you have dealt with concurrency in your language before. And uh, Elixir offers some unique ways, you know. Uh, the processes are isolated. Um, they do not impact each other. The communication happens via messages and all of that. It's, it's really interesting. And I was... I'm really excited to read this, you know, this uh, kind of mid-section of the book. Uh, and the last part is about, you know, uh, managing your dependencies, uh, your packages, how to deploy it for uh, different environments, how to build it for different environments, um, and all of that, you know, how to monitor your pl application when it's in production, when it's already running. And uh, yeah, it's interesting, uh, you know, it's uh, it's kind of part of every language and uh, it's covered as well. Also, there is one chapter that's really interesting and it's about, um, and this chapter is about distributed systems, meaning when you have a system with uh, different remote machines connected to each other to work as a single unit, you know, and... Uh, it's uh it's very interesting and very intriguing. I would say this topic itself deserves uh, another dedicated book, uh, but here we have only a single chapter, and author co covers the basic you know topics about that how to set up uh, different nodes and then connect them to each other, and then how to send set up different processes on different machines and then send messages between them. It's it's really interesting. And I would love to see, you know, maybe a second edition or something that uh, talks about distributed systems with Elixir because that's where this uh, language shines, right? 
so yeah that's you know that's uh, a general overview uh, that's what you're gonna encounter uh, while reading this book now uh, let's let's summarize and decide if it's worth it to read or not so what I liked about the book uh, first it's really easy to read um, clearly all author has certain expertise in an area because it's very easy to read very easy to follow even though some topics might be uh, different or new uh, you just you just get it and that that's been my experience and um, yeah that's that's really good another thing I liked is that uh, everything in this book is on point and uh, this book is, is more about advice rather than about the information you know um, and it, and the it, it's full of you know practical tips and tricks about the language and author makes some notes here and there from his experience rather than just saying it oh you know that's this is just a list you know and uh, that's how to use it and then just leaves you with that and uh, yeah, this book is more about advice, as I've said before, and that, that's really great. Next thing I liked about this is that uh, author, you know, as, as you move through the book, you build some small application. You know, you start with, you, you, eventually you're going to build a distributed to-do list management system. Uh, uh, you will start with basic features. As, as you start the book and then add different things and as author explains different topics you're gonna enhance your application and uh, it really uh, gives you something to work on because for me personally when I read the book I like to try a certain things on myself and uh, do some small challenges here and there to experience it myself you know and that's that's you know really uh, great thing uh, as well um, another thing that I like is that uh, it doesn't repeat itself. So what I mean by that, there are many books out there that, you know, uh, talk about the same thing over and over and over again. And, and it's just really annoying. And there is none of that in this book. You know, it's uh, author talks about a certain topic at some point. It's about the topic, then move, moves on to the next and it's 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 never like he never reiterates the same thing you know hundred times and there I'm sure you've read the books like this now what I did not like about the book um, I don't know maybe it's my print version or something but there are certain pages there that have you know the words squeezed together and it's like a, this one giant big word and it's really hard to read you know the same for code examples, like these code snippets are squeezed together in a weird way and it makes reading experience not really pleasant. Another thing is uh, lack of exercises. Even though there are a few exercises here and there and you're, you're building your to-do application, there are still uh, missing exercises, I think. Because first, this is a functional language and for the for all the people who are working with other languages and may not be familiar with functional concepts, there should be a certain exercises uh, for about different concepts, like, you know, for example, piping different functions together to compose new functions, or par partially applying different parameters, uh, different arguments for functions. So there are many, many different things uh, and concepts in this book that I would like to see exercises for to get, you know, more of a sense of how the language works. And uh, yeah, that's missing there. Even though there are a small number of exercises, I think it's not enough. Another thing I didn't like about this book is that it's uh, short. You know, Elixir is a complex language and there are many different things about the language that should be described here in this book. Even author says that uh, he's not gonna uh, talk about certain topics completely and uh, we are on our own reader is on its own to read the uh, uh, you know documentation search for other resources I get that uh, it's a good idea to always you know point different resources or books other books or courses 
so user can continue uh, the learning but um, I would say that uh, it's, 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 uh, this book really lacks some content there are certain I, I would say there are certain big topics that are missing from the book and even author mentions that and it's uh, for me it's quite annoying because you almost pay 50 bucks for this book and uh, if I wanted to just go and read the documentations you know I wouldn't purchase this book so even the, though the content there is great uh, it's still missing you know uh, certain topics and I would love to see that I think this book should be at least twice of its size so uh, that's it. If you want to learn a new language or maybe you want to learn more about the Elixir, I would definitely um, you know, recommend this book. I would say this is a solid 7 out of 10. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's really, really good book. It was really great experience for me personally. Uh, now, would I like to use Elixir? Um, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I'm never gonna use this language itself but certainly the topics discussed here are really useful and it kind of makes you think about your own language in a, in a different way and especially about the concurrency so that's it if you liked the video click the like button uh, subscribe and uh, share it with your friends